Hey guys, what is going on? Today I have a crazy video for you. This weekend I competed in Grappling Industry Chicago. My first bracket was going to be the Absolute Division. I weighed in at 157 pounds and I would then go on to face opponents up to 200 plus pounds. During these matches I would go on to hit some of my signature triangle techniques and I'd love to share how I did them with you guys. Stay tuned to see how I did it. Without further ado, welcome to... What's going on guys? So we're at Grappling Industry Chicago. I got 10 matches, minimum 13 matches at the most. Um, I'm gonna start off in the Gi Absolute and then work down to Gi and then no Gi. I've been training with Andrew for like the last two months so hopefully that pays off this time. Um, other than that, we're gonna go out there, see what I can do and uh, let's go. All right guys, here we go with the first match and first match of the day. I'm gonna start off immediately, go for my color and sleep grip. I kind of check him and once he doesn't break it, I immediately pull guard and I go right into the triangle. So from about here on out, he just keeps trying to stack pass and my only goal right now is to just control his elbow and his head and his posture. If I can keep that elbow in front of my hips, um, I have a really, really good chance of keeping him in the triangle. As you saw right there, he lost balance for a second, causing his posture to go really forward, but his hips stayed back. This almost enabled me to take him upside down and put him in a really bad position, but since he sat his hips back, I went back to controlling the elbow and making sure he stayed in the triangle. At this point, he's done with his explosive movements, and I'm actually able to underhook this leg, finally take him upside down, and finish what I like to call the Chamorro Triangle. All right, round two is gonna start off similar to round one. Color sleeve grip, he doesn't break it, so I immediately pull. Um, I attempt to transition to De La Hiva, but I believe he kept his hips and weight really far backward, and he had a low posture, so it was hard for me to get the De La Hiva hook in. So next, he's gonna kind of go into some sort of headquarters position. I have my leg under his hips, and his knees are pinched into my knee. Um, I'm then gonna try to transition to X guard, and I'm gonna give up on that and begin to just try to create space. I'm then gonna go for a spider guard by getting a grip on the sleeve and try to put my right foot into the bicep. He's gonna counter that by smashing down on my right leg and going for a knee slice. We're gonna dance around in that position for a little bit until I'm able to get into a position to go for X guard. I'm gonna put my X hooks in and then try to off balance him until he ends up falling. One thing I did not do good here is follow up on the sweep and I think I should have posted on my left arm instead of reaching to his collar and that would have maybe given me the sweep. However, I'm able to transition into X guard again and then this time I'm almost able to take his back. What he does really well here is he keeps his hips high and causes me to fall right onto my face above his head. However, I'm able to almost lock up a triangle um, from the back. Um, instead, I'm gonna try to transition to the arm bar and I'm gonna get caught and he's actually gonna come on top and get two points after getting out of the armbar. I'm gonna go for the classic pushing the hand in and throwing the leg over triangle. Um, he's gonna do a really, really good job at keeping me on my right leg, and I wanna be on the left side in order to finish the triangle. So he's gonna do a really good job at defending, and I'm almost able to transition to the back. However, I don't have enough, well, I'm just not good enough to uh, try to make that transition right now. Unfortunately, the table gets in the way and it shifts the focus of the camera, but I'm going to attempt the armbar again and then we're actually just going to settle into closed guard. So from closed guard, I'm going to go into one of my favorite triangle entries, which is the hip bump triangle. As you saw, I posted on my backhand, hipped into him, and threw my leg as high as I could on top of his back. He did a good job of keeping his head down, blocking my right leg from coming over onto his shoulder into the triangle. He then actually takes his right arm out of the triangle, forcing me to attack now his left arm. I'm gonna get a grip, um, I think it's called the Origatami. Jeff Pierce he taught it to me. It's sort of a reverse Kimura or just a gable grip around his shoulder, and I'm gonna use that to try to pry his left arm out of there and put him into a triangle position. He's a lot stronger than me, so I'm gonna try to transition into a belly down arm bar. I'm gonna do that by throwing my left leg over his head and attempt to put my left foot onto his hip and attack the arm. However, he has too much control of my hips, so I'm forced to return back into close guard. As he goes to break open my guard, I'm gonna push his hand through and then swing my left leg around for the triangle. He's gonna try to keep me again on my right side, and I wanna be on my left side in order to finish this. 
So we're going to stay in this position for quite a while until I'm able to get one an underhook on his arm. I'm then going to go for the leg and then I see an opening and I go for an underhook on his hip. As you can tell, I'm really, really excited to be able to use this technique and I'm going to finish what I call the body lock triangle. I got it. So I got gold in absolute. I got two triangles and I got to use my special moves, which is the more triangle and the body lock. Um, other than that, I feel like shit right now. And I don't know what happened, but dude, my head is spinning and I almost threw up like six times already. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do the rest of the, the, the rest of the competition. And obviously if there's another episode, you guys will see that, so that'll be really cool. Other than that, it's been a good tournament and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.